What's going on everyone? It's Stormer1092 here bringing you a updated version of how to set up Xlink. I will have all the links and annotations on the screen while I'm doing this, so feel free to click those to get to the websites that I'm talking about. Okay, first what you want to do is you want to go to teamxlink.co.uk. You want to click the downloads and then go ahead and download it. And then any second now it'll pop up. All right there. Now you gotta install that. I already have installed, so I'm not going to, but I will show you what you have to do after you install it. Then you wanna go to the sign in tab. You wanna fill out all this information. Go ahead and sign all that. And go to your email. You gotta have a verified email, so go ahead and do that. And then once you do that, you got to sign in in the Xlink website, just like how I'm doing it. And click sign in. So I'm signed in. After that, you want to go to your browser of your PlayStation 2. In this case, we're using PlayStation 2. You want to go to your memory card. And go ahead and delete your network configuration. Just get that out of there. Make it spin. All right. Alright, go ahead and boot up your disk that you're using. In this case, I'm using SOCOM 2. Wait for it to load and obviously go into the game. Go past all this stuff, blah blah blah. Wait for it to load. Da da da, speed it up. Alright, now we are in the game menu. What you want to do is you want to go to online. Obviously no network configuration because we just deleted it. Press continue and then go to edit. Wait for it to load. The only thing we're doing right now is finding the MAC address. So go to add setting. Memory card slot one. And then network adapter. And confirm for me not required. Go to automatic. It don't matter right now. Auto setting one. All right, there's your MAC address right here. It says MAC address 00041Ps. All right, go ahead and write that down. And now go to the IP generator, and then you got to type in the last four, just like I'm doing here and then click generate. Go ahead and write this down. And now you can go back to the, your network settings and then go to memory card slot one. If you need to, pause the video. Go to not required. Now type in manual IP address. Go to manual. And then type all this in. What you got from what you wrote down, you just type this in here. Alright, once you're done with that, follow what I do with the net mask and the default router. So 255, 255, and 255. Oh, excuse me, just, I think just those two. Okay, yeah. Just do what I do on the screen here. And this should be 168, 01. All right, hit next, DNS auto. 
name it whatever you want. Setting one is good enough for me. Then save it. Alright, press OK. And you don't need to test it because it won't work anyway. Then get back out of there. Now go to LAN. And then log in. Type in your player name and press connect. And then right here, all this should be filled in. And now go back to your, let's see here. Go to your X-Link, go to start menu. Go to start X-Link. Wait for it to start. Then it should ask you to log in. There it goes. All right, type in what you typed in on the website when you made it. And then press log in, attach into Orbital. Go up to Game Arenas. Go left down to PlayStation 2, in this case. And then go to SOCOM 2, wherever that is, right here. And then wherever you're from, NTSC. And the player should pop up on the right hand side. Right now, no one's on, but that's where they should be. All right, after you're done with that, what you do is you just boot the game up like how you go to, but go to LAN, and the, under Join Game right here should be a list of games that you can join.